Hello, this is the Code Spells tutorial video. I'm Arias Luva. And I'm Najin Najin. Uh, we're going to be showing you the basics of how to use code spells, uh, how you move around, how you do the little menu things, but this is just going to be like a quick start, so there's no need to panic. Yeah. Um, so we're going to just see the quick start thing, like I said, and to get more into details, there's going to be a separate series that covers... In-depth. Like, yeah, more in-depth stuff. So, um, <clears throat> I don't know what's going on, really. How do I start? So... How you get? Oh, actually, to get to this point, you'll have had to make a uh, like an account for code spells. That's just for sharing spells between people. So this is different from your Steam account. I'm assuming if you've you've got the game to this point, um, it's available on Steam. And if you really want to get it, so to get started, click on Sandbox, and we can dive right into what we're trying to do here. There you go. Um, we just got a loading screen here. You'll notice it runs off of a world seed so the worlds are all different and you can't really save the world because it's just sort of an area to play in but your spells are saved so you'll see as we get in well if you use the same number and i'm thinking you could probably use letters there as well you'll get the same world each time so if you've got a particular mountain you like yeah, but let's just use this for now though yeah but it won't like save between when you load and things it's it works the way a world seed does um, oh, I forgot the other thing I was going to say. Oh, the world is not infinite. Just because it has a seed doesn't mean it's infinite. Um, it does have edges, so I don't know if that matters. This is true. Um. <clears throat> okay. So Stop. there's some information on what's going on, some things the developers are saying to people. Uh, they do say it to start as well, it's still in early access, but that's fine. Ooh, monsters. Yep, there's creatures and different types of spells and things. So hit start, and we'll start having a look at this. Go, oh, go, oh, go! Oh. Alright, there we go. This is your player. You can move around by moving the map, or look around by moving the mouse. Oh, oh, there's water uh, here. Oh. oh my, oh my. Oh my. Oh my, what is happening? Oh! Oh. Alright, let's try and get somewhere a bit more stable. Here. There's a... Uh... Go to the right, go to the right. So you move with WASD, and you can jump oh. with space. Wow, this is a this is an exciting start. We're caught in a mudslide in the middle of a forest. Alright, here that. we go. Cool. So as you can see the flow of liquids in code spells is pretty cool, so that's good. You move with those WASD keys. Uh, left w A S N D. Yep. For those people W is forwards, S is backwards, A is left, D is right, so you can strafe. So you're seeing that there. Oh, is that a shark? Okay. I think that's a log. Yeah, that's a yeah, log. I thought that was a shark. I thought it was too. All right. Okay, let's uh, get away from this. So that's good. Ooh, you you can move bright. around. Yeah. So there's so, there's some sort of weird brightness thing going on in the game. Oh, that's better. That's better. I think it's just the contrast from standing in a shadow. Yeah. They'll probably fix that. But it's pretty good. As you can see, looking around, they've got some cool stuff going on. Uh, jump is space. So you can jump. Jump. Woo! You do have a health bar in the bottom right. That's the green one with the plus next to it. And then the other four bars that are yellow, blue, red, and purple are, um, what are they? That's your mana. Um, yellow oh. is earth, earth, blue is water, red is fire, and purple is air. air? Yep. Air. In the top left, you can see the spell you currently have equipped. So in Naja's case, it's teleport. Uh, he just selected that, actually, but we'll have a look in a second. If you press tab... This brings up your spell wheel, so you can have a look at different spells that are set to your spell wheel. So that's kind of like a fast way to look at spells. You notice each one also has a number by it, so you can actually select them from your keyboard with the corresponding oh. numbers on the keyboard. Um, also at the top where it says Earth Spells right now, there's some arrows. So you can actually scroll to different types of spells like that based in different categories. Um, and then, so... Are there air spells? I don't think so. So they, that's just what they've got built into the game. Maybe All we right. can... Build up some spells later. So different spells. Um, we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves here, but Sorry. basically what Naji just did is you click on a spell to pick it. So he clicked on explode, and then you left click to fire the cast the spell basically. So left click, and you can see I'm kind of an fire. explosion effect. And Naji's on fire. So that's kind of really quick. There you go. That's how you can move around at things. But we do want to get a little bit more in depth here. So if you can press tab again and go back to Earth Spells. 
So there's teleport, there's push, pull, pull player, super grab, explosion, raise rock, and lower rock. Um, there are different things each one does, and from the bottom you can actually see where it says shift plus click to edit spell. We can have a look at what some of these are. So how about shift click on push? So you hold shift, click, put, click. Whoa. So here's the actual coding ability of code spells. Like, what is this coding? Um, this type of interface is a visual interface for coding. It's not actually typing as much. And this one in particular is called Blockly. Uh, it's a pretty good way to get introduced to coding and sort of like logic-based thinking and computer kind of thinking like that. Uh, there is a different method that they've got implemented that uses JavaScript. Uh, there's probably some other tutorials on that out there on how to use JavaScript, but we're not going to be covering that. So this is, looks kind of basic here. We've got on create set orb speed fast. So basically, what I'm reading that as is when our spell is created, when we cast it, yep, like... it sets the speed to fast. Now, what does it mean a speed of a spell? All the spells and code spells are controlled by a thing called an orb. So when you cast a spell, really it creates an orb. So this is saying when the orb is created, it's moving fast. And it's moving fast in the direction you're looking. So we've got a fast moving orb. And then the next part is on hit, elastic connection with last hit world object with a strength of zero. And then we've got some squares. And that basically means we've got one earth mana to make the elastic connection, plus one earth mana for every second that the connection lasts. So if we close that right now, and we can give that a, a try, uh, you'll just press escape, I think, to... Um, uh, oh. well, what does it mean by elastic connection? So an elastic connection would be a connection between the orb and whatever thing we hit. So let's just say a rock, for example. And it would basically connect the two together so your orb could move the rock. So we'll... we'll We'll just see this example right now. So if you hit escape or equip or something, so there's equip in the bottom right. There's um, so that's actually equipped right now. So we have our push spell in the top left. So uh, let's go over to that. Ah, right there. That rock just there. And if you actually want to turn around so we get the different brightness, that's great. Here we go. So we're looking at this rock right now. The idea is, if don't do it yet, but if we click, we'll fire a spell at the rock. An orb will shoot at it. Connect onto it and the orb should move with it, so try that. Wow, look at that. So just look at that. It's flying along. Pretty great. So that's a fast speed orb. There's medium speed orbs and things, and you can create your own spells like that way. I so that's how to use fire. some of the, the pre-built spells in the game, right? So hit tab again. Those are some of those pre-built spells. Hit escape for a moment now. And hit escape again, and you pull up the actual... Ooh. menu of creating spells. If you go to library, you can see all the spells that come in the actual game. These are ancient spells, so they're kind of built in like that. Um, that's why they say creator ancients. So these are all kinds of different spells that they've got pre-built into the game. Pretty useful. For example, let's try pull player at the top right there, Naja. Um, and then just click equip. You see where is that? Equip. And if he looks up in the sky a bit right now, and clicks. What's oh. it, what it's doing is it's making a connection with Naja, and so he's kind of flying through the air. Ooh, I, I can see the orb. Yeah, me. so that that's the orb out there. We can kind of see that, that thing line. out there. We'll have a look at another orb in a minute now. How um, do if, I get down? If you hit F, or actually just... so the Ooh, I'm falling. Uh, click again. So that's rebound you to another connection, so it's limiting your speed right now. And if you hit F, that disconnects the... Why are you still on fire? I don't know. I'll so, find some water. Pro tip, here's how you stop being on fire. Press tab, go to water spells, click add water, and then point to the ground and click a bunch of times. Oh no. So that Not made flood. a lot of water. <laughs> um, maybe water I only click once. Ooh, yeah, we maybe can remove it. water, can we? Yep. Uh, stop water. Try that now. Perfect. All right. So as you can see, the like fluids moving and things in code spells, pretty awesome. Um, and there's different built-in spells that we can use to do different stuff. How about we try right now uh, making one of our own spells pretty quickly? 
is just a really brief intro to making spells. So hit escape, and we're going to go to new spell on the top left. So it just says new. And what type of spell? We're going to be working with Blockly, and let's do an earth spell. Here we go. And let's call it uh, Sphere of Protection. So this is, we're just trying to show you some stuff here. Um, you can do whatever you like, but this is just kind of like a quick crash course of, oh, what do these buttons do, and how can I just start making things? Nope. So this is the default thing. All it says is when you create, your orb will just be moving in a straight line, and when it hits something, it'll stop. All right, that's kind of interesting. That's not so very exciting. let's just do a quip right now and see what that does. <clears throat> Um, so on hit will be whenever it hits a hitbox of anything. So if it hits a tree or if it hits the ground or if it hits a rock that can move. So for example, this rock that Nanja's looking at right now will not move. It's actually part of the landscape. So just fire that like, yeah, that sort of level. And you can kind of see the glow is still there. That's because the orbs are actually stopped just at the surface where they've intersected. So it's done. It's done what it said it would. It moved, it hit, it stopped. Interesting, but not very useful yet. So hit uh, escape, and let's start editing this a bit more. On create, let's go to player, I think. Oh, sorry, it's control. Orb. It's ooh, one of these. Ooh, Basically, ooh, move there. movement. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Uh, we want to orbit player. So drag that orbit player block out. So you click on it and hold, and then drag out into our main area on the right. Yep, just like that. It just does it. And so you can kind of see there's this little indent at the top and a little sort of like protrudence thing at the bottom. And that's how out you... Dent. Like an outdent, yeah. <laughs> so this is how you attach these blockly components together. So, oh, yep, you can see that They're kind like of line appears. Pieces. Exactly like puzzle pieces. This is the kind of... They don't want... Put it on... A, let's put it on, on create. Here? Yep. And so you can see that kind of clicks in. It's got a nice noise. And this is to prevent sort of confusion with syntax of programming languages. There's all these parentheses, and if you forget a certain symbol, maybe the whole thing will break. With Blockly, you don't really need to worry about that. As long as all the blocks are attached together, the spell will function. It might not function how you wanted it to, but it'll function like you told it to, basically. So as long as you've told it to do the right thing, that'll be good. So let's change that orbit player to a distance of uh, one. And these are kind of in feet or meters or something, so just type up one. You click and type one. And print it. Yep. And so you can press enter or you can just click somewhere else. And then time per revolution, this is seconds per revolution. So let's say two seconds, and that will just be every two seconds, this orb will go around the player. And then let's just do another interesting thing here. Um, let's go to, uh, I think it's Earth Powers, and we'll do Elastic Connection. And we'll put that under On Hit. Yep, just there. Uh, actually, so here's an interesting thing now. Drag uh, set orb speed. Try dragging that around. And you notice it drags everything around it, uh, underneath it as well. So drag away the elastic connection. Notice the parts above it do not go away. Um, and just get rid of that set orb speed stopped. So you, to do that, you drag that over to the left. There you go. Um, and let's... That looks pretty good, actually. So essentially what we want to do is when... Uh, Mm. Actually, we're going to put another thing in here now. So if we go to logic and do an if statement, and we're going to grab the one at the top. And so you just drag that out. And these if statements are kind of like a, a check to make sure something's happening that we want it to. Uh, this one actually has a kind of funny shape. So if we drag that elastic connection piece out for a moment and move it underneath uh, where it says if, it'll kind of slot into its bracket there. So that'll... Um, what it's going to try to do is say, when you hit something, if x, then do y. So if this part right here, wave your mouse around, if something we put in there, then do this thing, whatever this thing is that we're doing here. So make some elastic connection. So we're going to say if, uh, I think it's properties of the orb. Properties? Mm, no. What do we want it to do? Basically, what we want to say is if the object that was hit is movable, and there used to be a command to do this. I think it's under world object then. Oh, here it is. Yes, right there. If is world object movable, 
do this thing. So basically, if it's movable... If this is it, true. Yeah. If the object is movable, yes it is, then make a connection. If it's not, then don't. So that'll save some mana instead um, of the orbs. And then it'll still be coming around me. Yeah. So the idea is we'll cast a few of these and we'll have a kind of orbiting sphere going around Naja. And oh, that should be pretty good. stuff. Yeah. So we'll hit, hit equip right now. And let's just like look over there and click a few times. Just a few times. So we've got a few orbs moving around. You can see they've got... Let's look at them out now. That's enough. Um, and if we move over to that tree uh, just behind you. Yep, those on the ground. Maybe... I don't think these are... No, nope, those are not movable. So these, you see how it's not really stopping or anything? Those aren't movable. But these little rocks on the ground here are movable. So you can see that it's kind of being dragged around now as well. So we can grab some more rocks and make make a little shield around ourselves. So, ooh, that's interesting. Um, you'll notice that our orbs seem to be dying, though, and that's because of mana restrictions. Uh, basically, the amount of mana we have in the orbs was not enough to sustain them for a long amount of time. And we'll get more into details on specifics of spell coding and things like that later. Um, Probably in the other videos. Yeah. So, for now, though, uh, that's an introduction on what you can do in code spells, how to make a quick spell, how to move around, how to stop drowning in a flood at the start, how to not catch on fire, um, how to fly, maybe use some ancient spells. But we'll get more into details on a lot more of this stuff in future videos. So thanks for watching. Thank you.